Hello all. Uh, this is a video uh, concerning the, the uh, latest uh, user repository update or upgrade and uh, you probably noticed or may have noticed if you're using Arch Linux uh, that some of the packages are no, are no longer there. Um, hopefully they'll return if the maintainer uh, decides to keep uh, the package and updating it. Uh, in light of that uh, there are a couple of things you can do, of course, and uh, by looking through uh, archives, not on Arch Linux, but just on the internet or on uh, GitHub or GitHub. So I'm going to use the Conky Colors, and unfortunately, it's not in the AUR. Uh, luckily, uh, this one is very easy to uh, install if you. I weren't aware of that already. Um, the, not really installed because it's not integrated into Pac-Man. Uh, and on my pre a couple of videos ago, I was talking about making packages. Uh, this one uh, seems to be pretty tricky to make your own package, so will install in Arch. So you can clone it, or the easiest way is just download the zip file from here. And I'll throw that in a downloads folder. And this is very similar to the way you would go about this in Ubuntu, I believe. So go to File Manager, Downloads, and there's the Conky Colors Master file. And just open your Archive Manager and just drag it out to whatever folder you wish. Downloads is fine. And we'll just open the folder and there's a, the Make file. And there's the README. And I already know this because I've done this several times. But just open the terminal inside the Conky Colors Master folder and just run make and then sudo make uh, install okay that's it so far um, so far so good so if you run uh, conky dash colors uh, CPU or just arch I believe yeah so if you run this script, it'll just put it in your home folder, conky c your username dot conky colors conky rc. And if you use you probably know this anyway, so okay, so that's easy enough to fix. It says conky not found, obviously. So just install um conky through uh Pac-Man, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Just run that command again, and there it is. It's running in the top here. Sorry, I'll zoom out. So it's a very simple, and it's a well-written program, um, the make file and stuff, so it will work for you, um, no problem. Control-C to exit out of here for now. All right, so let's take a look at and Grandpa Sunar, and I'll show you what I'm working on. Is uh, You just take each one, as I just explained in the last example, uh, look at the raw view because it's easier and uh, copy and paste and make sure it's the exact same name and so what I've done here is in my home folders I created in grandpa through our directory and I took each one of the files that's in here and just mimic them or just cop clone them as you can see so with any luck uh, you can open a terminal inside the uh, build directory and just type in make package dash s and if it uh, hopefully it'll pass any kind of signature checks or anything and you can see that it depends and it's building so far so good and uh, let's give this a couple of more seconds And there we go. It, look, it built successfully, so I imagine you could install that. So let me reload. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's two files here. So you want that, this one here, of course, to install. And so I'll do that same command uh, just so we get a new uh, look at our packages. Uh, no, I don't know how to type sudo pacman dash capital Q 
out to packages. And I'll legs it and go up and look for that, Grandpa. And you can see that it's build uh, one one dot one one dot ten zero dash one, and that looks the same to me. Six uh, sixty four bit one dot ten dot zero dash one, and then of course the rest of the architecture package. And I did the same thing with X X aim. Okay, so the official site for this, uh, the applications menu uh, editor builder editor, I guess. Uh, for XFCE, it does point to eight, the, an Arch Linux user uh, link, but it's uh, I'll just click on it. It's not found. So what I did is uh, downloaded the the bind file, and you have to get another program <laughs> get from the user repository, which I believe is there. Is uh, and this is not building a package of any kind. Um, uh, DEB dev. To, I'm not sure I have that installed. Deb to T tar GZ. Okay, it, it is installed. Here it is here, and it's it looks a lot different because it's a uh, Ubuntu based. So uh, terminal uh, deb to tar GZ uh, x aim. Now it makes it into there it is here. All you have to do for this one, and again, it's not uh, on. A Pac-Man uh, uninstallable, but you just uh, well, you can actually can run it just as it is. Hold on, um, go back up. So we'll take this USR, drag them out. So it's in the bin. Is the executable properties permissions allow executing? So we'll see what happens. Let's just open a terminal. X aim. Oh, I'm gonna have to put a dot X. I'm not sure it'll work, so say Adobe Flash Player, I want to hide this, say. I'm not sure if it'll save and save changes. Yep, so is Adobe up here and wherever it was? Nope, it's gone. So there's a few examples of working around things that are no longer in the uh, AUR, the Arch Linux user repository, for some reason if they're not updated, or it's like somebody's dropped maintenance or whatever. Um, you can, to some extent, get some of those programs back and working, um, basically, through various means. All right, so uh, that should do it for this one. I hope this helps out anybody that's uh, wondering what, you know, what can I do without my user repository package? Maybe this will help you. And uh, thanks to everyone for watching, and uh, have a great day and a great evening now. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.